Wow, week number four. Let me see if I can turn this light on, if that helps a little bit. All right, so week number four. Uh, this week we are doing things around the house, okay? It's been a crazy, crazy week. Um, I told you before, I wrote a list of 200 things um, around the house, okay? Um, and so at the beginning, it was really difficult. And that's why yesterday I talked about repetition, but anyway, I'll give you an example. So this week in Romanian, I learned things in the house and, you know, including my body, right? So things that are close to me, right? So for example, head is cap. Uh, this is uh, fronte, forehead. Fata is face. Pur is hair. Urek, okay, ears. Oki, eyes. Um, gura, mouth. Dints, teeth. Gingile is the gums, okay? Um, and I think the neck is umir, umir, chest is piep, stomach is stomach, uh, then blat brats, okay, is arms, then a pen is stilo, okay, laptop, okay, laptop, microphone is mic microphone, okay, ekran, computer screen, um, things in the library, okay, so the library is biblioteca. Right, that's the library. Then you have, you know, book is carte, or books, books, okay, is kurs, okay, it's plural. Um, what else? Uh, tavan is the, the ceiling, tavan is the ceiling, okay, and then the floor is padea. And if you go to the library or if you go to the kitchen, okay, um, in the kitchen, you have things like kupdor, which is oven, or argas, which is stove. Uh, Cuveta is the sink. Um, strugur is grapes, or you have apples, which is mere, or you have uh, just many other things. So you go around your house and you write down a list of you know what's in your house and then you repeat every single day. So this has been a crazy, crazy week. Um, I've learned probably about 200 words, okay? For example, in the bathroom, um, you have toothpaste, which is pasta de dints, pasta de dints. Or, you know, you have shower, which is douche. Sh uh, shampoo is shampon, shampone, no, shampon. Um, toiletta, and you have the washing machine. So you just go around, you write a list down, and you start to repeat these things every single day. And then hopefully, if you follow my uh, progress, you can reach A2 in eight weeks. So it's been a crazy week. Um, also, too, with Duolingo, I learned um, verbs, right? Like to speak, right? So yo borbesk, or I learned uh, to borbest. Okay, so you speak is to borbest. Um, and then I learned um, read, write. Okay, so yo chitesk. Um, write is yo skriu, okay, I think that's a, how you say it, skriu. Uh, so I'm learning different verbs. So by now I probably know maybe four to five verbs so, so I can start to actually speak. Uh, I'm learning phrases too, right? So buna ziwa is like good afternoon, buna diminata is good morning, uh, la revedere is goodbye, um, so many other words, right? So I'm starting to get more and more confident. So I think I think in about four weeks, um, I'll be speaking. I'll have like a basic survival level of Romanian. So again, like I said, the beginning is always more difficult because it's more repetition, 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 repetition. And then your study time starts to decrease with time. So thanks for following me and hope you, hopefully you guys will have a good weekend. Um, next week, I'll continue to speak in Italian. Okay, um, I'm testing different things to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, I have my analytics so I can see the numbers. Um, so we'll see. Have a good weekend and uh, see you next week.